Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today I'm going to need the Mark Brioche stitch on a knitting machine using only the knitter. I learned this technique from a video by Roberta and I will link her video in the description box below. Basically you need one side and then you hand manipulate the other side. So it's kind of like a double knitting. You have to knit it twice. And I think it's a great idea when you don't have a reaper or you just want to keep it simple and do the hand manipulation. So I started a few sample on LK150 knitting machine. This is more like a sports weight or a sock weight yarn. And you can see the color. And that's another side. And then I try a thicker yarn. This is the worsted way. Maybe I can make a scarf out of it. But then apparently the worsted way gets too tight because it's like a double knitting. You knit front and back and it can get too tight. So I try to do every other needle like this one. And it works much better. It's not as tight. And this is the highest tension on LK150. It's still a bit tight and I want to see if I can make it even looser. So I try my next sample. And this one has three empty needles in between. So I can hand a stitch back to the center needle. I missed a stitch here, but you can still see it looks very close to the brioche stitch. Now I'm going to show the way I do it. And I'm using a Brother 260 bulky machine because I want to use worsted weight yarn. And the LK150 can get a little bit tight. First I cast on every other needle. So you have empty stitches in between the needles. And I'm going to knit one row with the regular satin. I'm going to hand my weight and continue knitting until as long as I want. Maybe I will have 20 rows. Now I have the length I want. I can cut the yarn and change the color of the yarn. Now I have white color yarn in the carriage. I'm just going to knit one row. Now we can start picking up the loops and place on the empty needle. And for the first row, I will pick both white and the pink yarns and place on the empty needle. And then it will be the second loop here and the second empty needle. And we'll just keep going. After handing it back to the empty needle, I can push all the needles out and knit one row. Now we are ready to do the second row. And it's the same, we pick up the loop. That's the first loop and place on the second needle. And this second loop place on the fourth needle. So it's every other needle, just like before. Now we hand it back and we will need one more row. And we will just keep repeating that. Hand the loops back, need one row, hand the loops back, need one row until the end. Now we're just picking up the pink color, only one yarn from now on. It's very simple, but it can get tedious and time consuming because there's a lot of hand manipulation. And because this is double layered, so you don't want the tension to be too tight. I have number seven here 
but I think I can make it even looser. Now we just continue doing the same for every row. Here are the last few rows. I take off the weight so you can see what it looks like. And to me it's still a little bit tight, so I'm going to change the tension to the highest number 10. And I'm going to continue knitting. Now this is the last row, so you can see that's the last loop. And we'll do the same, pick it up. Now we finished hanging the last row, we can start bind off. Or you can knit one row and just bind off any way you like. But I think it will look nicer if we can match the beginning. So I'm just going to cut a long piece of yarn and sew it up. I'm going from the back of the second stitch from the left side. And then going back to the first stitch from the front. And I can take off the first stitch. And we'll keep repeating the same. The second stitch from the back. and then going back from the front to the back. There are many ways to finish it up. You just have to try it to see which finish you like. Now we can take this one off the needle. And then the next one from the back to the front. Front to the back. Take it off the needle. So now we finish. You can see that's the uh, binding off, and this is a casting on. This is another side. If you open up, you can see two different colors. And for this one, I have around 40 stitches. It's actually 41 stitches because it's every other stitch, so we use odd number of stitches. Next time I will remember to put the tension dial and the carriage tension to the largest so it doesn't get too tight. But overall it's a very straightforward technique. And I can see this as a scarf or a part of the head if you combine with stocking a stitch or a ribbon. It can be a nice warm head or even blanket. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching and see you next week.